Hello everyone and welcome in. I hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. Today we're going to take a look into Aries monthly overview for February 2021. In this message we are first going to tap into the energies with the Shadow in the Light Oracle deck here. Then we are going to just jump right into the message and in this message we are going to uncover the energy surrounding you this month, the energy in love, the energy in money, it's challenging you, it's working in your favor and advice guidance moving forward. We'll clarify throughout the reading as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. If it's something you're interested in, Aries, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here what we can see for you, Aries, for February 2021. Please and thank you. Most important message here. What does Aries need to, to see? 11, 44. Dried flower fairy fairy of the green world I feel like there's a need to get grounded okay there's a need to kind of get centered I feel like there's about to be this Marie masquerade it symbolizes a situation that may arise um, a lot of times this is a dramatic situation or something that you've gotten yourself involved in that it's about to explode then I feel like this is having to do with something from your past if this is resonating with you uh, you're going to know exactly how this is resonating what this is talking about okay there's definitely a need to go out into nature get grounded uh, collect your thoughts for some of you this could be a legal matter so let's take a little bit deeper look here Aries and see what we can see for you guys for February 2021 please and thank you Please keep in mind guys that the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. There's something in the title resonating. There's most likely going to be something in the message. For information on energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here, how to get a personal reading, it's all linked below in the description box. And Aries, if you like the vibe or how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help set your intentions for future messages. Three of Cups, Ace of Cups, Nine of Wands. It's almost as if everybody around you is celebrating and you're kind of withdrawn is what I envision here. Trying to really get clear on that path that you're taking here. I feel here that you're kind of maybe even skeptical of the people that you're around here. So the energy surrounding you this month is the Knight of Wands. Energy in love is the Queen of Swords. Energy in money is the Five of Swords. The challenge is Ace of Swords. What's working in your favor is the Page of Pentacles and the advice guidance moving forward. Hanged Man, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. It's hidden here is the King of Cups, Knight of Cups, Five of Cups. There's a situation here from your past that's coming back here. And I feel that you, there is this sense of emotional, <laughs> emotionally distraught over the situation, okay, over the past situation. Um, but I feel like there is a need here to gain clarity within yourself, 
okay look at the situation truthfully and get crystal clear on why that didn't work out so you can communicate that moving forward because I feel like that's a conversation that's going to arise especially if it's a past person that's coming back into your life here Aries so let's see here three of cups ace of cups nine of wands for Aries please clarify this energy there may be a friend or family member that's trying to bring you back together with somebody who you had a deep connection with here and you have to do what's best for you Aries I feel like this is causing a lot of stress a lot of anxiety I do get the sense that they're ha the person that's trying to come back around into your life I feel caused a lot of heartache, a lot of turmoil. This is a person who probably betrayed the situation, you know, um, misled you in some way, shape or form. And I feel like whatever disconnect had happened here between you and this person had caused a lot of turmoil. And that's why you're guarded to coming back around with this person. Okay. Um, that's why any communication with this person maybe stresses you out, causes anxiety. Knight of Wands, it's the energy surrounding you, Aries. I feel like part of you is kind of stressed about the situation, stressed and worried. Part of you does want this new beginning though. Even if it's just a little part of you. Part of you is intrigued, as interested on what, what, at least what this person has to say. Okay. That is very clear here. I also feel like you may be ignoring, ignoring what has gone on in the past. So just look at the situation very truthfully, uh, very practically here. Okay. Um, the rose color glasses need to come off in this case here aries so let's clarify this queen of swords this is in the energy of love this is a very th this is truth i feel like this is an honest resolution to this problem but you're going to need to be very honest with yourself about the situation and why this has played out the way that it has because I feel like right now, Aries, you may, part of you does really look at the situation very practically. Part of you looks at the situation one-sided, I will say. We'll say it like that, okay? Be, and the reason why I say that is because I feel if there was a disconnect between you and this person, this person may have caused some chaos, some turmoil in your life, but I feel like this, it's a double-sided sword. This plays out both ways. Okay. I feel like you may have caused some disruptions as well. There's definitely an energy of being indecisive and I feel like that's more your energy Aries. That could have been why this situation played out in the past the way that it did. Five of Swords in the energy of money. There may be some things that you're having to take care of, some disruptions, some bills may arise that you weren't really expecting. Okay, but I feel that if you just pay attention, take care. Um, make sure that all your ducks are in a row, but everything will be taken care of. Um, everything is going to work itself out. Six of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. You'll make it through this chaos. You'll make it through this um, rough patch as long as you are careful with how you're budgeting your money. Um, just navigate the waters very meticulously. Okay. 
challenge this week for you, Aries, is the Ace of Swords. Again, I feel like you're maybe looking at the situation with one-sided, okay? Like, maybe you didn't really have very much influence on how things played out. I feel like you need to take a little bit more personal responsibility. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm not trying to be... There's a part that you played in this situation to cause this disconnect. Not all of it, okay, but uh, some of it. And in order to fully move forward and come to terms, hash this situation out between you and this person, you're going to have to have some sort of personal accountability towards your part in the disconnect. I do feel like you are open to that possibility. However, coming to terms with that isn't easy. <laughs> so it boils down to this. Is this a situation that you see working for the long term? Or is this just a situation that you need closure on? For some of you, you are going to decide to come back together with this person and work things out. For others of you, this is just going to be a sense of closure, a sense of healing, a sense of finally releasing this betrayal. Okay, because I feel like for a lot of you, if this is resonating with your situation, you've held on to this ending, this disconnect, this turmoil for a long time. And it's caused even more disruptions than you wanted to play out in your life. And this isn't just your energy, Aries. This is you and your partner intertwining with each other. So this, this really can resonate both ways. Okay. But definitely ending to the chaos, ending to the turmoil, the, the long time coming <laughs> ending. Okay. So let's clarify the advice, advice, guidance, moving forward. Whew. We have the hanged man, the seven of pentacles and the queen of cups. Okay. I feel like there is this coming to terms, coming to terms, accepting. I feel also there's a change in perspective that is happening for you, Aries, within this dynamic. For a lot of you, this is closure. This is closure coming through with this situation and finally be ab being able to release this betrayal. But in that, I feel like you're really changing your perspective and really being able to look at this disconnect as a blessing. You know, finding the lesson and looking at the situation as a blessing. So let's clarify. Hanged man, the seven of pentacles, the queen of cups. There is a little bit of confusion, a little bit of uncertainty. So you're really going to have to go within to get clear on where you see yourself headed. Where is this leading? Okay, where are you going after this? A lot of you had your heart set on this person for a long time. And then when this, disconnection ha this disconnect happened, you just didn't know what the next step was. Okay. Now that you're closing out this chapter, you are going to finally be able to see, finally be able to release, finally find that internal happiness, okay, without this person that I feel here for most of you was a long time coming. Again, this was, this is definitely a very overextended lesson. So let's get your native spirit oracle card out here for you, Aries. If you found that this message has been helpful, that it's resonating with your situation, 
please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all amazing. Circle of life. circle of life and this this card actually came out in Sagittarius's reading I believe so if you are resonating with dealing with the Sagittarius you may want to check out that reading guys um this card talks about being open um all things are possible abundance going with the flow it talks about if things have been challenging in your life things are going to take a turn for the better but on the other side of the coin, it talks about if things have been looking up, things have been going good, then things could be taking a turn for the worse. This is the cycle, the circle of life, the cycle of life, okay? The circle of life called the medicine wheel in Native American tradition symbolizes a cosmology that honors all the circles of life. Those in Western culture tend to see life as linear. However, those in indigenous cultures see all life as a circle. When this card chooses you, it's time to honor and cherish all aspects of that great circle. When this card, all parts of the journey have beauty and grace. There's beauty in the rising sun, just as there is in the setting sun. To only revel in the rising sun and demean times of endings depletes your energy choose what is and you become master of the universe or at least of your own personal universe there is something that has ended that you're finally releasing okay um and this sense of closure this opportunity for closure here aries rather that's coming back around or coming around for the first time for some of you is going to be an important part of your journey but we all have free will so you have to to make that decision to choose right to take that step here always do your best honor yourself honor the man or woman that you are take the risk to express your dream Taking action is about living fully and expressing what you are. Beautiful Aries, beautiful. So Aries, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.